Imagine losing nearly all of your siblings to cystic fibrosis. It's a genetic condition that makes it difficult to breathe. There are some treatments, but so far no cure. There's a woman, though, working to turn her personal tragedy into triumph. My mom had nine children. Yeah. It was a big family. Wanda O'Neill gets emotional when talking about her eight siblings. I knew that my sisters and brothers had cystic fibrosis. In fact, six out of the nine children were diagnosed with the debilitating lung disease. My sister Nancy, and she was the first in the family to pass away. And one by one, Wanda watched helplessly as five of her siblings became sick with pneumonia, eventually succumbing to CF. They were just so brave. Searching for a way to turn tragedy into triumph, Wanda has dedicated her life to CF research at the University of North Carolina. We're making steps. Amazingly, Wanda's 50-year-old brother Mike is living with CF. Her team of researchers is working to identify what has helped him survive. Researchers are also taking the CFTR protein that's defective in patients and altering it in the lab so it works better to keep mucus in the lungs hydrated. UNC scientists are also collaborating with drug companies on treatments that would make the defective protein work better in patients. We're developing the technologies here to actually personalize it, to tailor the optimal therapy for that person. Wanda says she will never stop working to find a cure for CF, with the memory of her siblings pushing her on. It makes a difference that people still remember them for the people that they were, not the disease that they had. Now, the UNC researchers say these new treatments should be available in three to five years. The hope is to extend the lifespan of patients from their 40s now well into their 70s.